Guys and welcome back to another episode in the Minecraft Hardcore Survival World and in this episode what I've got planned is I want to finally complete our tools and get full netherite armor and equipment. Right now in the last episode we managed to get two netherite ingots and we decided to upgrade our boots and our pickaxe but now I want to get every single tool in our inventory up to netherite level. Which means we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 more netherite ingots. Which is, how was that, 32 ancient debris. Which is going to be very hard to get. And as you see down there, off camera, I gathered up just a couple cheap. And that's the way we're going to do it. Because I need a lot more beds. Because I think that's the best tactic. So that's the tactic I used in the last episode. And it worked quite well. So we're going to get even more beds. And we're going to go back to the nether. Back to where we was. To try and get as much ancient debris as we can. 32 is very difficult. But I remember in the last episode we only got 8 out of a lot of beds that we had a, a very high amount and only got 8. By the way, if you can hear Jaegen, that's my tortoise. He's scratching about next to me. Don't mind that. But what I'm going to do is I need to breed up these sheep so we can get as many as we can. Just set up a temporary little pen here similar to the cows. There's a lot of cows in there. We now need to get a lot of sheep in here. So we'll harvest up all this wheat, breed up all the sheep and then get as much wool as we can to make a load of beds. I just got jump scared so much then. I got all the wheat gathered up. I turned around and this guy's just chilling inside the cows. I was about to just jump right in there. So, oops, sorry, Mr. Cow, but trying to kill the creeper. Sorry, cow again. There we go. Hopefully, he'll just burn to death now. I don't know how to hit him again. He didn't burn to death. Brilliant. Um, can I jump show him? Oh, what skills. Skillful players. But yeah, that guy scared me up loads. Now we're just going to go breed up all these sheep and. I think we've got some shears on us. Yeah, we've got some shears on us. So we'll breed up these guys, shear them now, and then we're just going to have to wait around here for ages, trying to get as many sheep as we can and get as much wool as we can, make as many beds as we can to get as much netherite as we can. So we now have a, a, a lot of sheep in here. Like, there's a ridiculous amount of sheep, but we also got with that a lot of wool. I don't even know if this is going to be enough, but we can always come back and get more. Next thing we need to do is get a load of wood. But we've got spell four stacks, so I'll just grab one stack of logs. And then we'll make a crafting table in the nether. And we can go down there and start blowing up a bunch of beds to see how much netherite we get. I'll sleep first, but I'm trying to get this out of the way quickly. I want to get netherite really quick so that we can upgrade our armor. But let's see how it goes. I've done the first stage of beds and as you saw by the recording it was very dangerous there's loads of lava behind this wall there's loads of lava here but luckily on this side we did get a little bit of ancient debris it's just going to be a absolute pain to get to because it's surrounding lava above it as well hopefully not below it um can we mine this bit safely yeah and hopefully there's none around it no doesn't look like there is so that's the first bit and then we're going to go down here See if we've got any else. I don't see any around here. There's a lot of um, nether quartz down there. And the bed the bed destroyed this direction, but I'm kind of glad it did because that's just covered in lava. This way, also just covered in lava. This big wall has loads of lava in it, so we can't go that direction. Do I see any ancient debris? No, not in there. Do I see any ancient debris in this one? Don't see any in here either. Is there any in here? No, not that I can see. I hope I'm not missing any because that would be very, very sad. But don't see any here. This one's just covered in lava too. 
it, it didn't really work very well, the beds this time. I don't feel like I've gotten much. Only one so far, and we've gone through quite a lot. I didn't really see. Well, I didn't check inside any of these as we were doing it. I've just walked into lava, though. Kind of depressing. Do I see any in here? No, not in there. Any in here? Not in there either. Feels like I've wasted my entire time going through this area. Any? Not that I can see. Not on this side. Have we got any more here? Yes, right, so there's one. One more piece here. Two pieces here. That's great. Three! Okay, so there's one ingot that we've just got now. So I hope that's four ancient debris altogether, which can get us one more netherite ingot. Which is really good, exactly what we need. Well, not exactly. We need we need quite a lot more. But, is there any in here? No. Again, moving on. We've got two more ancient debris here. Is it just the two? It looks like it's just the two on this one. So we'll mine these up. It's starting to get a bit better now. It's going quite bad, but we've got th five in the last two we've checked. Any in here? No, not in there. Uh, patch this hole up because it's quite dangerous. Is there any ancient debris? None on this side. Any ancient debris this side? No. Carry on. There's quite a lot of these to go through. Any ancient debris? No ancient debris there. Ooh. Right, there's one here. Do we reckon it's attached to any? It doesn't look like it is. It's very much on its own, this one, sadly. But there's the third ancient debris of the second bar. Not really weird in this well at all, am I? Are there any in here? No ancient debris here on this side. Again, none on that side. In here. This one goes quite high up because all the gravel fell. Do we see any ancient debris up there? No, we don't. And there's none underneath it. On this side, no ancient debris in here either. Can't find any. None there. Oh, ran straight into some fire. No ancient debris in there, though. Coming to the end of this now. That's just a big wall of lava. No ancient debris. Again. Doesn't look like there's any over here. Was that some notes? Just soul sand. Another big wall of lava there. Don't see any ancient debris in here. Or in here. But again, this one connects up a little bit. Do we see any in here? Nope. Nothing there. And the first one we did... We went out here, and there was an ancient debris on this side, which is quite good. So we'll dig up here. Mine this ancient debris, and was it attached to any? No, it looks like it's a single. Yes, yeah, so that was one single ancient debris. So we didn't actually get that much. From all them beds, we only got two ingots. Eight ancient debris for two ingots. But that's about... That was like 30 beds, I think, we did there. That was a lot. So I don't know if beds is the best tactic for this. I'm going to continue using the rest of the wool we got, see how many more ancient debris we can get. Oh my god, whilst I'm tracking back through, just double checking everything, I found that there's two more ancient debris right here. It was hidden underneath the gravel that we missed. So we'll get one, and then we can get the second one. And that's already a lot more. And is there a third that was hidden behind this gravel? No, so it seems that's the only one. But we might have to start checking underneath the gravel now to try to see if there's any ancient debris hidden. So we're back now and we managed just 10 ancient debris and we used about a stack and a half of wool for 10 ancient debris which means doing another stack we're only going to get another 10 ancient debris by doing this like by the odds of it <clears throat> which isn't very good at all but like we have to keep making them because that's the re that I've made all these beds just for this so we, we can't just stop we have to Truck on, truck on and make as many beds as we can because I think it's still better than mining them. It's still a lot better than going around and mining all the things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in a different route because this way was dry. So if I go off, if I pick one of these directions and I just mine off in that direction for a while, place all the beds along that mine, like this, not that direction because it's covered in lava, but let's place them where it's not covered in lava. Not there, down there maybe, or down, yeah. We'll go this direction for as long as we can and see 
how much ne nether, right, not nether, right, ancient debris we can get from that. And from running out the tunnel, we found a little bit more ancient debris. It looks like quite a nice amount. One, two, and we've got to dig around the area just in case there's more, but I think it'll only be two based on how that vein looked. We're going to blow up a bed here anyway, so if there is any more, we will find it. But that's two more pieces of ancient debris, taking our total total up to 12. So that's three ingots altogether at the minute, which is pretty impressive. And we've just found another three by the looks of it. I think the max vein is three, so this could be all that's here. But we will see again when we blow up the bed, if there is any more. But... That's really good. We're up to five now from this little bit, and we haven't even blown the beds up yet. If we can get, like, double, triple that from blowing up the beds, that'll give us a really solid amount, and we'll only need to do a little bit more mining after the fact. So we've placed all the beds bar one, because there's lava just across this wall, so we can't go any further in this direction. So it's time to head back and blow up all of these beds. Let's go. There's a lot of quartz in there, but no ancient debris. Here's some ancient debris. So it's only two pieces. Can, is there a third in the wall? Don't think there's a third, but two pieces. That takes our total up to 17 pieces of netherite now. Oh, there's a bit right there. So there's lavas covering all the floor. But is it only the one piece? I think it's only the one in this room. So that's 18 ancient debris now we've got. So it's quite good, quite good. We need 32 in total, I think, for all our things. And there's two more bits right there. This one's also covered in lava, though. So we'll block that off, make our way over to the ancient debris. And then two pieces, but they're both... There could be a third in the wall somewhere. Because these pieces aren't, like... They're not connected to each other, it doesn't look like. So is there another bit around them, is what I'm thinking. We'll mine this second piece right now. That's our total up to 20, which is five ingots now. Only a few more left now. Oh, there's some in the top. So where's this source of this lava? It's like in that corner. So we'll block all this off because we don't want to be dying. And this could, there's a chance, be more than one. So there's the one. And then is there any more around it? I think it's only the one piece for this vein. Yeah, it looks like it's only the one. And these are the final two now. Do we find any netherite in here? Yes. There's a little bit just on the other side. Is it only the one again, though? I think it's only the one. Well, man, I don't know why I just broke that with a shovel for some reason. But let's break this up, and yeah, it's looking like that's the only bit in this area. So how much we got? We're on 22, and we need another 10. So we're going to have to go regular mining, because we've run out of beds now, to find another 10 netherite. We've got the next piece here, it's only one for now, but are there any more around it? No, it looks like it's only the one that takes a total up to 23, nine more to go. And we've found a bit more here, two pieces, three! That's really good. As you can tell by the pickaxe's durability, it's not, we're not doing very good at finding the netherite, but three pieces here takes our total up to, what's it on now? 
26. So that's six more that we need. We're going to clear out our inventory and carry on looking. And we found a little bit more. It looks like three again, which takes our total up to 29. And we only need three more now. We're getting so close to the very end of this adventure. We've got another piece here. And if this is a three vein, that means we can finish this. It's, lo it's looking like a two vein. Well, it's not looking like a two vein. It is a two vein. Is there a third in this area? There's a bit of lava. It doesn't look like a third, so we only need one more piece now. A single piece of netherite, and we are done with all of this. And here is the final piece of netherite that we need. It might be multiple vein as well. We don't really know. We don't need any more, so it's fine. If not, I've mined into lava right there too, so that's not very good. But that's the final piece we need. We have 32 ancient debris, and now we're going to head back to base and make our entire set of tools netherite. And here it is, the 32 ancient debris that we need to be able to make all of our um what we even trying to i'm forgetting what we're even trying to make all of the in never right ingots to make our never right tools 32 ancient debris we've got gold as well lots of it we've got lots of never right as well we've got loads in this chest altogether, which is why i think the next thing we need to do is finally build a bigger storage room inside the tree base but face them says, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's go home and make these Neverite ingots. The smelter has just finished and we have got 32 Neverite scrap in here. So if we go to our crafting table, we can turn all of these into Neverite ingots. And I'm pretty sure I've left my smithing table in here, isn't it? Yeah, my smithing table's in here. So let's take all the armor off and let's get all this Neverite gear. So Neverite sword, Neverite pickaxe. Neverite axe, Neverite hoe, and now we're going to get full Neverite armor. I'm pretty sure you get an achievement for wearing full Neverite armor. So let's put all of this on. Yeah, cover me in debris. Jesus Christ, that's loud. And you also get an achievement for getting a Neverite hoe, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Some very, very serious dedication. So we've got, we've got quite a lot now got everything we need we look absolutely incredible and i kind of want to have a look at the advancements because cover me in debris is in this section and we need to use a compass on a lodestone that's enough one of the enchantments need to find a bastion i haven't even found one of them yet subspace bubble the nether the wither stuff and what's the serious dedication does that come under farming yeah that's under the farming one what's this eat every edible food We've only eaten seven different foods. Catch a tadpole. There's quite a lot for us still to do. And one of the goals for the world is to get all of these advancements complete. As you can see here. One thing I did see as well with this. I don't know if we've got any red flowers. We have seven red flowers. I don't think that's enough for the boards. No, we need. We have more than seven boards. But someone, somebody said I should make it so that the boards are red. And when we complete them, we then dye them green. I think that's a really cool idea, so I might get some more dice so that we can do that. But right now, I'm very happy. We've got our full Neverite gear, and I think it's time to move on to making a storage room inside the actual base. First, I need to figure out which hole I want to even go down. We've got the nether portals down this direction, and I'm thinking rather than going long, I want to go kind of deep for the storage room. And I'm thinking either this one, or maybe this one. Go deep down here, actually, no, that's kind of too skinny. Maybe this one. Right near the door, you come in, we turn, we go down into the storage room down here. I think that's a good idea. And I'm going to get on to building a tunnel down to where the storage room will be. So this is what we've got for the way down into the storage facility. It's going to be a big room down here. I want it to be quite a bright room, quite a large room, so that we can fit loads and loads of different chests in different sections. But I tried to make the thing go deep. It's about 20 blocks below where the surface of the area is. And you go, it's a deep descent rather than a long one. Like to the never portal, it's quite a steady decline. Whereas this one goes straight down, it kind of curls. And all we need to do now is replace it with wood. We've got the dark oak, we've got some mud and some mangrove roots. And we're going to work our way down to the very bottom. And this tunnel is now complete. I've gone for a similar style to what is in the other tunnel going down to the nether portal only this one doesn't fade into like the the stones of a cave because i don't want the storage room to be a cave i want it to be like wooden 
and um, sort of different materials. I want it to be funky. I kind of want a color code to match the chests in that area. Different things like that. I want it to be like quite cool down there. So I've gone with just the dark oaks of an actual root going down into the air from where we're climbing inside the root, which I think is a really cool idea. And I'm liking doing that to these different bases. I'm going to have to work on the storage room now, which is going to take quite a bit of time. I don't think we're going to finish it even today because just how big I'm planning on making it. I want different types of areas for each different type of chest. So I want like a wood zone, a stone zone, a colour zone, a mob zone, different things like that. Because I think it'll be really cool to build. So I'm going to get the first few zones done in today's episode. And then we might have to finish it in a future episode. And now as we come down into the storage area, we've got this first little room. And this is just going to be a dump room, I think. It's, there's nothing going to be designated in this area there might be some miscellaneous items that go in this area things like armor stuff like that but now what we're going to do is we're going to have rooms coming off of this so we'll have a room going this direction that could be the metal work room and this will have all your ores and your uh, diamonds and valuables and things that'll be in here you could go this direction and it'll be the wood room and we'll have sections for like acacia wood jungle wood mangrove wood all the different woods we'll have an area in this room and then we might go off this room again and have a stone room and there'll be different things like that but for now i think this is good and i might add the stone like a stone room in on this side just to ensure we've got a little bit of everything and i can start moving items down into here and we've got our little stone room it's made it isn't totally finished yet what i'm going to do is get so these are going to be the cobble chests so i think this can stay like this this is going to be an andesite chest, so I want to do andesite around this area. Same with this one, this is granite, this is diorite. I want to, I want to like fit them into the area so you can recognise what they are. And then we've got these other little barrels around, just for stuff like tough blocks, other types of things you get from mining that aren't going to fit into one of these chests. We'll go inside of these. I think it's going to be really good. I don't know why these are two single chests and we can make them doubles. And that's going to be the, this is the first room, the stone room. So we're going to go all the way back up. And it might take a couple trips, but we're going to get all of the different stone blocks from the main base. Well, not the main base, from the starter base, and move them into this base. So we've filled up these chests. We've got all of the cobble deep slate, the regular cobblestone. I've moved things around a bit, so instead we've got andesite, diorite, and granite in all of these. And we've got the tuff in this one. I don't think there's anything in here, though. There's a bit of obsidian here. We've got smooth stone here gravel in here and the dirts and things are going to be in this chest and I've, I've added a little bit of like I forgot what they're called the drip stones just near I thought it'd be a bit cool a little bit of decoration for now we're going to need to get more in here we're going to do the thing we've got little cobblestones to mark these chests this one will stay stone maybe a bit of gravel over here a bit of dirt little things to just make the chests more obvious what they are but f I think for this episode we might about be complete in the next episode, we're going to do a little bit more work on the storage room, I feel. And I have a suggestion for a trophy room, which I don't think we're going to do yet. But that'd be a sick room to add in the base. For when we've obviously got more trophies, but we can go down one of these routes. That may be one of these smaller routes. Go down into a trophy room, which would be really sick. We could go quite deep with that one as well, like down to bedrock. Make it like a vault, hidden vault that's got all the treasures, like things like the dragon egg, beacons, stuff like that in the treasure room. And we need to do the skeleton thing. Oh, this berry's got quite small. Well, we can, we've got to the point where we can climb this vine, so we might be able to get rid of the... I forgot what it's even called. The scaffold in here. It's got to the point where we might be able to get rid of that, because we can now climb this vine all the way to the top. And I don't really know if glowberries actually grow, so if I pick these, will they grow back? Are any of you able to tell me that in the comments? Because I don't want to pick them and then they don't grow back, because I kind of like them, but they're a bit... A bit low down now, aren't they? So, oops, falling in a hole. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had an amazing time. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.